good evening. I thought I, I looked at my phone and uh, my SD card is running very low on memory, so I switched to internal storage. Even though I have another way to capture it, I'm just doing it this way so I got control over uploading it. Anyway, this is Geechee Lion's Journey. Of course, I'm Anwar Kente here, representing Geechee Lion, of course. And it's Saturday again, the weekend, so that means it's time for another vlog, another update, weekend update of what's going on in the Geechee Lion's journey and Geechee, Geechee Lion's world. Saturday, June 17th, and it's getting close to 6 o'clock p.m. here, so we still got some sunshine out there. I am in a shady area, but again, I'm like arm's distance from the phone and there's plenty of light out here it's sunny very sunny but now it's a little cool so the sun is not beating down on me but i guess a couple of may uh significant things that that happened this week a few i'll go over the first one first which is the bad news on uh monday morning Somebody was able to hack into my Imperial Brown Facebook page. Now, granted, I won't get into the details, but I helped them do it. Somebody was in person. Somebody had already, I guess, hacked a Facebook friend of mine. So they actually sent me a message pretending to be him. And I gave, and I basically gave them some information, which, you know, at the time, it didn't dawn on me that he already had the information so it was no i should have raised my suspicions then but it didn't so the bottom line is uh monday morning i lost control of my facebook i think they tried to get my instagram too maybe they did get it so i don't i'm not really using imperial brown uh on any social media and i don't intend to do it ever again I still have my Facebook page for the company, Geechee Line Music, so I was able to, uh, to secure that, but I will not have an Imperial Brown Facebook page anymore. Anyway, that page was a combination personal page, combination business page, combination fan page. Well, I didn't have a whole lot of fans anyway. Um, a good portion of the people that I had as Facebook friends were family. And then a lot of them weren't really responsive or they didn't really interact with me much. So in that respect, it wasn't a real big loss. Inconvenience more than anything, because I was able to preserve most of, you know, what I posted, obviously. Uh, you know, if I posted a photo or video on that, on Facebook, obviously I had to have it. So I didn't lose any of that. It's just the biggest thing is I'm losing my contacts. I had a significant amount of Filipino contacts, Filipina contacts through Facebook, and now I've lost those. So I had to, I had to see if I can, you know, I did set up another page and I will be attempting to uh, contact them personally outside of Facebook or, you know, well, outside of my account that got hacked, obviously. So I did, one of the last things I did is I put out a Facebook post, a post telling people that my page had been hacked. And uh, I was not able to retrieve it, so... So I'm gonna encourage you all again, well, you're gonna be forced to now, if you're trying to reach me on social media, you're gonna have to go to my Geechee Line Music Facebook page, and you're gonna have to go to my fan base social media account. And I've been trying to get people to do that for a while now. Everything has been forced now. You wanna get access to, you know, exclusive content that I've, going to be releasing on social media and period you're going to have to go to fan base so there will be no choice about it so those of you who care about me or supporting me uh, like what I'm doing you're going I'm telling I'm just asking you 
you don't have a choice now because my Facebook page got hacked. You go to fan base, you can find it in your Google Play or your uh, Android, Google Play. Look for fan base. It'll be a logo with a red, I think it's a purple background with a white F. Fan base. That's the social media that was founded by Isaac Hayes III. You will go there. You can download the app for free. You can set up a profile for yourself for free. And then you can go in the search bar and search for Geechee Line Music. And find and I'll put a screenshot up of what my page looks like. Go in the search engine, look for Geech Line Music. When you get there, you can subscribe. Or you can be a follower rather. For free. Costs you nothing to be a follower. Now you will have the option to become a subscriber. What is the advantage? Right now, I think they set the price for all subscriptions at $4.99. Well, for $4.99, you're going to have access to all everything I put on that account. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, there are going to be some uh, social media, some videos, some fo mostly videos that you're not going to have access to unless you pay uh, $0.99. Cent. You, if you buy this currency called Stars, Actually, it's with uh, YouTube, it may be called. With Facebook, I think it's called Stars. With uh, fan base, it's called Loves. So you purchase Loves, you can buy, uh, it's basically a penny per love or half a penny, something like that. So you can unlock any post basically for 100 Loves, which is 99 cents. But to save you that trouble, if you really like what I'm doing, I suggest you just go ahead and subscribe, and then you got access to everything. And I already have my concert that I did. I did the US, uh, the New Year's Eve Filipino concert. That is on Fanbase now. So if you're a subscriber or you can go to Fanbase, you know, purchase the loves, which is the digital currency. And uh, for 99 cents, basically, you can view that exclusive video. I haven't made it available anywhere. Now, I am, I do intend to release a concert documentary. It lasts about one hour and 10 minutes which is the full concert of my original song. And you have about 20 or 30 minutes of a self interview, if you will. So it's in a concert documentary style, like behind the music, which you were used to see on uh, VH1 or MTV. So I'll be making that available uh, to see on my fan base social media account under Geechee Line Music, all right? So with no further ado, let me get into the next big thing. On June, 16, June 15th was the worldwide official release of my song by Geechee Lion. I'll tell you who she is. And if you're watching this video and you looked at my channel, you can see that video on my YouTube channel, Geechee Lion's Journey, which if you're watching this, you're on my YouTube channel. So that video was actually released on June the 16th. It's June the 16th in the Philippines because the Philippines is 13 hours ahead of Chicago time. So I actually released it on June 16th in, in the Philippines. It's just, it was still June 15th in the evening here in Chicago. And uh, I haven't looked, I don't, I know, no, I think one person may have joined me live while I was, you know, on the air, on the air, not on the air, but watching the premiere. 
Uh, since then, I have not checked the YouTube today to see the statistics to see how many people have viewed it. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. Uh, I'm realistic too, but I, I, it is my desire that by the end of this month that I will have had thousands of views of this video because the subject of the video is these five popular Filipino vloggers. Of course, Rebuti, who has about 50,000 subscribers. Rika, Filipino Petite, she has about 26,000 subscribers. Sharon, she, Sharon Lapu Lapu, I think she has about 8,000. Uh, Rowena, uh, who does the It's Wing show, I think she has about four or 5,000 subscribers. And then Junabelle, who's Filipina elated. I believe she has six, 7,000 subscribers now. So what I, what I want to happen is for them to uh, watch the video, like the video, and you know, start promoting the video on their channels because they have part ownership in the video. So, and I and uh, I think I said this before in a previous vlog is my intention that the proceeds from the sales of the song will directly benefit those five bloggers. Now, I did hear from Sharon, not directly, but she messaged me and said that she couldn't find the video for some reason. But I can imagine that she's found it now because I mean, I told her, hey, just go to my YouTube channel, Geechee Lions Journey, and you can't miss it. So I would suspect by now that she has seen it, but uh, she did not send me an email to indicate that. I didn't check my personal, my Facebook message yet on my other account, so I don't know whether she responded. Uh, I did inform each of the five Filipino vloggers that I was doing this. Uh, I was on live with um, Rika. I told her directly. Uh, I told her beauty. Of course, I told Sharon. Actually, Sharon was probably, she might have been the first person to even hear the song because I think I sent it to her first. And the only reason why I can't confirm that is because I don't have access to my Facebook account anymore. But uh, I do believe she is the first person to have received the song. Uh, I believe I told Junabelle at least I, at the very least, I left mess, I left uh, comments in her YouTube telling her that this was gonna be done. Uh, and again, Rowena and uh, Ru Beauty. So they were all informed that this was happening. So I would, I am pleased to say that I checked my email about an hour ago and it turns out that Rika, Filipina Petite, she did respond to me by email and she said she loved the song, she enjoyed it, she was thrilled to see it and she expressed of very happy, being very happy about being part of that project. So I am so glad that makes my day. And uh, and I told Rika, you know, hey, you're one of my top bloggers, my favorite bloggers, but you're also one of my favorite Filipinas, period. And I, I call her my lovey. Uh, I mean, I personally call her that. Now, she calls her listeners or watchers on her channel. She always said, my loveys. So she does that as a matter of course. But when I'm saying my lovey to her, it's a little more personal. 
So uh, you always refer to her when I when her live comes on. Uh, she responds to me anyway. I anyway I always say my lovey. So I was very pleased pleased about that, and I let her know personally that uh, by email I responded right away to that email and expressed my gratitude and thankfulness to to her, and I let her know that she was she gave me inspiration to write the song and to do the video and i'm so happy that she is pleased with it and she and again she will personally benefit from that video because she is part owner she is part owner would be made part owner of that song i'll tell you who she is so i'm encouraging you all if you haven't seen the video yet, go look at it and leave some comments. Leave me some comments in my YouTube channel. I also would like you to go to the YouTube channel of the five vloggers. Go in their live streams, go in their comments, go in their live chats and tell them that you saw you watched this video and that you liked it and that you want to support them and you can support them by going to my website www.chilionsoul.com that's c-h-i-l-i-o-n-s-o-u-l each uh, half of the sales half of the gross sales of this song which I'm out for a special price you know because we are um, it is for the intention of raising money personally for them you have three of those women who are basically who are single mothers so obviously they have you know obligations and I, I want to help them take care of their children and take care of their expenses um, you know for beauty you know is a up and coming and certainly Junibel is. So I want you to go, go to their chats, go to their YouTube channels and let them know and invite others to come watch the video and go to my website site www.chilionsoul.com and purchase the download. It's $4.99 but half of that is going to the vloggers themselves. Okay? Uh, let me tell you something about Geechee Lion. I own my own company. I don't have no record deal. I'm the deal maker. I'm the deal maker. I'm the deal breaker. I don't answer to nobody except God. So that's so when I say and I intend for uh, someone to be uh, financially blessed by my music, I can make that happen with the backing and power of God. Now, of course, this is in contrast to the old days in the 50s and before where they robbed, they robbed our black musicians. A lot of your favorite musicians from that time made very little money. And they were act actually ripping them off right up and even till the time of Michael Jackson and Prince. Prince even uh, protested against the industry because he didn't have control of his own music, which and he probably certainly wasn't getting paid as much, you know, as he should have. But you know, they robbed, you know, a lot of the, um, the old uh, performers, the black performers especially from the old days. So they didn't own, they didn't own anything. Well, I own this 100%. So when my song sells a million dollars worth, guess who gets the whole million? It goes right to me, okay? And then whatever Uncle Sam, <laughs> Uncle Sammy, Uncle Sammy Banks, you know, will get his cut. But half of that off the top is going to Rebuti, Rika, Junivell, Rowena, and Sharon. So how about them apples? So again, I want you to 
help me help those loggers. Let's get these sales up. Let's get these sales moving on, on this song. I'll tell you who she is. Now, the other update is I have I had three international remote sessions this week. I had two sessions with a drummer, live drummer, which was a new experience because uh, a lot of my songs that, most of my songs that I have released and recorded, I use the drum machine. Uh, very well done, by the way, but I didn't use, I didn't have a live drummer. Uh, so, I had two sessions with a live drummer, and I had one session with this female vocalist, and I'll tell you her name is Marta Garrett. Marta Garrett. Look out for that name, because I've done, I believe, four or five sessions with Marta Garrett. So, you're going to be hearing her, because she, right now, is my female vocalist for Geechee Lion Music. So, I'm also been vigorously trying to recruit certain Filipinas to sing with me uh, on my song. Nobody, everybody's refused me so far. They say, oh, I'm not good enough, or I don't have time, or whatever. Uh, one of them flatly, I think I told you before, just didn't want to do business with me at all. And she basically ghosted me, so I kind of, you know, I don't even I don't even mention her name now. But uh, that's looking pretty good. So we have a new made-up holiday here called Juneteenth. And the way they came up with that is that Abraham Lincoln signed something called the Emancipation Proclamation. When he was president on January 1st, I forgot the year, he decreed that slavery was illegal. Slavery was abolished and that there'd be no more slavery. But the people in Texas, they kept that information from the black people. So the announcement was not made in Texas until, I believe, July 19th of that same year. So all that time passed, and they were, had actually been quote unquote free. They didn't know. So to commemorate that, there's a holiday now that, that it's nationally recognized now as Juneteenth. So, matter of fact, today, uh, my company, I didn't say my company, I'm part owner of a company that uh, produces a seasoned coating mix. It's called Tasty Delight. If you go on my website, chilinesoul.com, there's a link on the menu to tastydelight.com where you can actually order, you can have mail order of my uh, product and uh, look at some cooking videos and all of that. But anyway, in, they had this celebration commemorating Juneteenth at one of the local major food stores here. Uh, the name of the food store is Jewel. I'm not necessarily trying to promote them, but they're about the biggest grocer here in the Chicago area. But uh, I went over there and we had a booth there a table where we had somebody to fry some chicken and fry some catfish and give some people, let the people sample the product. And hopefully, you know, it, it'll increase sales and awareness. You know, the grocery business is really a hard business to crack, especially if you're trying to come into a market with a product that's already being done by someone else, you know, that's been out there for 30, 40, 50, 60 years. But uh, while I was over there, my phone ran out of power. But before my phone ran out of power, I was able to videotape and record. There was a jazz band there, so I'm gonna be releasing 
that video. I released some of that video today, the, re the video that I was able to get of the jazz group. But uh, Juneteenth, uh, Monday, is the national or local holiday or whatever people are off work. But it won't be an off day for me because I have scheduled a full day in the studio at 35th Street Studios with DeAndre Barnes. And my agenda is to mix and master all these songs that I've been working on. I should at least, I should at least be able to mix and master, I wanna say seven songs. If I, should I be able to get seven songs in completely mixed and mastered ready for release and when i say release i'm not necessarily saying i'm going to release it where it's going to be on spotify and youtube and all that a lot of the stuff i'm doing now is going to be exclusive on geechee line radio which i'm still in the process of working on um expecting that the infrastructure for Geechee Line Radio will be complete in a month's time. Um, I would like for it to be done within this month. We got two weeks left in the month of July, in the month of June. I would like for it to be done by June 30th so I go ahead and launch it. But more about that later. I'll probably do a newsletter next week next saturday i'll probably do a newsletter because at that at that point i would have been done with the studio session here in chicago and i believe i have two more studio sessions international that uh, i can lay some more tracks so and then there'll be another week that'll go by to get you know, to see how the sales are going on my song, I'll Tell You Who She Is by Geechee Lion. Look at my YouTube channel views, YouTube channel comments. I appreciate you sitting up there watching this. Give me a comment. Uh, any comment at all, I don't care. Uh, suggestions, uh, criticism, of course, I take praise. Uh, I'll take likes, i take shares, but I really want you to go to my website, chilinesoul.com, and purchase this song download. I'll tell you who she is by Geechee Lion. And I'm certain that once you do that, you're going to find some other music that I've done there that you're going to like and that you're going to want to purchase and have for yourself. I do have physical albums still of my first album. Matter of fact, I got a sale. I uh, looked on my email, I had another sale. My first album is called Alone at Last. And uh, I still, I have less than 90 copies remaining of the original pressing of that album. And it's on my website for $60. Yes, my albums are selling for $60. It's a collector's item. There's only there's less than 90 now remaining in the world. And then once they're gone, they're gone. I'm not going to repress them. People will just have to, uh, this, you hear that tide? This tide is getting uh, kind of rough up here. But I'm, I'm just high enough where the water's not reaching me. But I have still physical cassettes of my, what was supposed to be my second album, but I didn't finish it. I still have some cassettes of that, that's Rules of the World. And then, of course, I have my CDs that I just released within the past couple of years. I have a CD of my first Imperial Brown album, which is Imperial Soul. Here's the shirt. Here's the shirt I had made to advertise that. I know you all, it's backwards to y'all, Imperial Soul. Imperial Brown and the Million Seller. Uh, that CD is available for purchase, physical download, or purchase the physical or download. 
at chilinesoul.com. Uh, so that's the first album, Imperial Soul. The second album was called Hung Up On My Baby by Imperial Brown and the Million Seller. I also put out my first album by Chi Lion Soul, which is Wedding Day. And that features my Filipino model, the Bianco, on the cover, wearing, you know, dressed up as if, you know, she's in a wedding uh, party. And then I re-released Alone at Last in CD form, so now you can get Alone at Last on CD. And I put a bonus song on there, which uh, I co-wrote with my cousin Melvin T. Fields, uh, called Throw Down. So that's a bonus song that's on there that's not on the album. Then of course I have, you know, several other songs that were released as singles only. The most recent being, of course, uh, I'll Tell You Who She Is by Geechee Lion. I just released Dear Mother Music. That's by Chi Lion Soul. That was dedicated to, that is dedicated to my musical mother, Carol King. Uh, check that out, Dear Mother Music. Uh, and I also released three songs under my new rap hip hop artist, Master G Lion. That's G spelled J I, Master G Lion. I just released basically an EP of three songs on that. I released The Bargain with Hell, Passion of the World, and, uh, and what's the other one? It'll come, <laughs> it'll come to me. But uh, three songs uh, by Master G Line just released, and three songs by my group, the Passport Brothers. Uh, no Longer Quarantine was the latest one. Of course, the one before that was Same Situation, Different Girl, who that song was written about an actual event and an actual person that you all know quite well but I'm not divulging her name, not at this point. Uh, and then of course the first song was a version of Love You Right Now, which is to be included on uh, 